Okay, Team Coletta has a fourth car coming out. You've known about it for about two weeks. There's Ken Black along with Dave Reef. What's the latest, Dave? Well, let's find out for the man who is going to team up with Connie Coletta. The, the list has grown to at least 28 names. Jim Oberhofer told us that this weekend. Can you shed any light on who's going to drive your top field dragster? Well, we hope to make an announcement uh, Tuesday at the very latest. If I had my way, we'd do it tomorrow and get this over with. We're basically down to a short list of three. And uh, naturally, Hillary Wills is in one of those three. Is everybody's seen her here with us this weekend, and we're uh, definitely interested in her and a couple others that would probably be best not to divulge at this time <laughs> due to their other considerations. But uh, I think uh, Tuesday at the very latest we'll have an announcement. Hillary Will, of course, is standing right next to us here. She's the young lady you'll see in the glasses here in just a moment. What are you looking for, though, when it comes to a driver? Well, you know, naturally you'd like someone a little more seasoned and with more experience, but uh, Connie Coletta assures me that uh, he can uh, whip her into shape. And uh, but most importantly, I think uh, Hillary's going to represent us well if she is the one our pick. She, I think she'd represent us well out of the car. That is definitely the rumor in the pits, Marty. You're looking at the leading candidate. Well, and, and he's mentioning the 25-year-old as almost like he's giving you the resume. <laughs> so he's all but confirmed it for us. Hillary, at age 25, has an economics degree, has won a national event in top alcohol dragster, won at the divisional level. She's uh, been under the tutelage of Bucky Austin and is very, very good and weighs about 100 pounds, which uh, the crew chiefs are just drooling over because they can ballast the car out a lot better. And there is John Oberhofer, one of the four potential crew chiefs that could be working on that car. Now, uh, it was John's brother, Jim, that brought Mike Dunn's name into this equation as a possible driver. Mike, I have to ask you, how did you come to your decision? Well, basically, uh, my contract with ESPN goes through 2006, and I've never reneged on a contract. So, and, and Jim, you know, accepted that, and he, he wouldn't want to hire somebody that would you know, basically bail out in the middle of a contract because if, you know, he and I both agree if you would do that for ESPN, you might do it for him. So uh, as a result, I didn't have the opportunity to to basically bid on the job. But, you know, my contract's up at the end of next year, so we can talk about 2007. Well, I'm, I'm glad I got you right here. I mean, I know how much you want to be behind the wheel, but we all love having you right in the booth. And if it is Hillary, which it sounds like it probably is going to be, she's got a big smile on her face, we'll wish her well.